pretty much the master level stuff. Like, if you're going to be playing the character, I would say this is going to be the stuff that you need to learn to compete at the highest level. Um, this is for those who actually want to, you know, really, really get up there in the ranks and probably have master rank or whatever it is that you guys want to do, playing tournaments, whatever. But before we get into the video, I want to say leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. But um, let's get into it. So first things first, what I want to talk about is um, doing dive kick on Oki in the corner. Um, this can work uh, mid screen, but um, I just want to show you guys like a quick application of this. So I'm gonna set Ken to do wake up DP. Uh, so right there, the DP whiffs, um, and you can punish the DP here if you do manage to get it to whiff. Like I got the whiff punish here. You can go into whatever you want, combo whatever it is. Um, now, if it's not that that you want to do, um, I mean, if it's not DP that they do, let's say they just wake up and decide to block. So I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna take him off a of DP. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I, I guess I can just show you here. If they just wake up and block, um, you can be up like it's minus two or minus three, depending on the uh, the height that you hit it at. Right there, I got it to minus three. Let's see if I get it minus two. Yeah, I got it minus two. Um, so if they wake up and block, you're safe there too. Um, if they react a little late to you doing this, um, you can just like probably grab them out or mash or whatever. But I would say uh, it, it's not your turn, so just kind of play a little bit safer on that end. If you start to do this a little too much, um, they they also can't jump out of it. So if they want to do like if you do um, this here, you wanted to catch them on the jump, and you can still get the combo after. I I dropped the combo there at the end, but you still get that. Uh, it works against um, wake up mash. If they wake up like crouch light punch, it'll beat the mash. Um, the only real way to counterplay this is wake up super. So if, um, some wake up supers actually don't even hit. So I'm not even going to say wake up super is like good counterplay. As you see, Ken get, did his super and uh, it whiffed and I'm still able to punish him here. I'm plus 15. I could have I got like a crouching heavy punch punish or whatever. But there are some supers that will hit you. So like uh, Ken's um, level 3 super will still hit here. Uh, well, actually, I I guess I <laughs> I made a whiff there, but uh, uh, usually it would still hit. So like here, it probably hit, yeah. So, uh, just just something to keep in mind. <laughs> I, I was able to make a whiff, so that's cool. But yeah, use use a uh, dive kick in the corner. It only takes you only need level one drink to do it. So I I would say it's probably one of your strongest um tools. Um, next thing I want to talk about is getting safe jumps off of your um off of your break dance. So anytime you get target combo and you you manage to be at level two. Breakdance gives you a safe jump, so I'll, I'll make can do wake up DP so I can show you guys. Um, this one is more commonly known, but a, a lot of the stuff that I'll get into here after this is going to be really, really less known. So right there, I got I got the midi, but I'm gonna turn it on so he'll do the DP here. Yep, and you, you're able to safe jump. And why is this important? I'm gonna show you why this is important. Because off a of save jump, the punish combos that you get in the corner with Jamie are among the best in the game. And I'll show you why. Uh, so in this instance, I'll do uh, the same save jump setup that I just did. But I'm going to change Jamie's drink level to level 2 so I don't have to keep uh, drinking. Right here. I get the save jump. I got two drinks. Now I'm at level 4. You can you can get two drinks in combos if you're able to beta DP or beta super or whatever it is, or even on on a shimmy. So I'll show you guys that again. Uh, it's not gonna be the exact exact same situation, but let me show you guys. Just like let's say I got a punish counter, right? Punish counter, heavy kick. You get a drink, and you get another drink, and I'm plus four in their face. Awful, of, and I'm level four. This is the most ideal situation you could ask for as Jamie. And this is probably one of the best ways to level up quickly is once you get in the corner, get these punish punish counter combos. So real quick, I'll show you guys how to do it. Um, there's two ways to do it. So you can do um, heavy kick punish counter. This one is a little less consistent because you need to be really close to the corner and close to them when you hit it to get the double drink. Uh, the more consistent version that I found is um, off of EX Palm. So uh, off of EX Palm, you can get a drink. And then after the drink, you can go for sweep. And you get another drink. You could probably squeeze in a little bit more damage here. It's not completely optimized, but the, at the end of the day, what you're going for is the two drinks. So this is what we wanted, and this is what we got. We're level four in their face. Now we have the command grab. Now we have double um, palm on the swagger step. Now we have uh, enhanced recas. We have everything that you, that we need pretty much in the mo in the best position possible. Um, so this is pretty much how you uh, like me personally. This is how I feel like the character should be played. You should be bring him bring him to the corner, get a whiff punish or get a nice punish counter or whatever. Get your two drinks in, and then now we're playing the game. 
this is truly like this no one else is showing you this guys this stuff so like i said leave a like on the video uh, next thing i want to talk about is the different ways you can actually punish so i i just spoke about how you can get uh double drinks in a combo and uh, and whatnot but if, let's say you didn't want the double drinks let's say i got i got ken to wake up dp right let's say i want to burn him out because he let's say he's at mm, I, I don't know let's say he's at like 60 percent life he's tired of getting throw looped or whatever i managed to hit him again and he w decides to do wake up dp so let's make him do wake up dp <clears throat> This is 100% a real game situation. So, wait, I got to change the uh, the gauge settings to um, not refill. I'll change it all to not refill. So, right. You get the hit, right? You did wake up DP. You can punish with a drive impact into super if anyone wakes up DP. And you can, you can burn them out. So now he's burnt out and he's literally one HP. This is strike throw range, or it's pretty much like a uh, button into death if I manage to hit a drive impact on the wall. This could really lead to many checkmate situations in the corner with Jamie. So he could even have a bit more health than this. I would even say like 80%. Like if I manage to hit him here. And I get the punish I was talking about. And now in this situation here, um, while you're burnt out, many characters can do this, but um, you just have to find the, the right button to press. Um, you can do um, heavy kick into drive impact here and he cannot throw it. So I'm gonna turn, turn on throw. So I'll make him do throw on reversal. Let me see, normal throw, turn that on. And let me save the state here. So I'll show you guys the situation again. So is he on block? Yep. So this, he got counter hit on the throw and I get a drink and I can full combo him after. So same thing, heavy kick to that. I get a drink combo and he's dead. Same thing with um, wake up jump or, or uh, jump. If they decide to jump instead, like let's say he's like, okay, I know I can't throw this. I have to jump, right? Replay can't jump the jump got clipped i get my drink and he's dead pretty much this is almost like 100 you, they could probably be at like 90 upwards to 100 percent health and you could still get this little situation off um the only thing that would beat this is super but uh it's you know it's obviously a read all i have all i have to do is heavy kick and then nothing and then bait the super or i could do heavy kick drive impact and then i'll get the the uh the win pretty much um that's really, really solid stuff. Really solid setup there. But really what I want to show you guys is another setup or another version of this is if let's say Ken didn't have that much drive gauge and he wakes up and d does a poor DP. Let's say he has like four or even three. Let's say he has three, right? Three up, like going to four and I knock him down. So let's make him do wake up DP again. So I can show you guys the situation in a, in a different light. I dropped it. Right, hold on. I'll just do like something easy. So if the combo is going to burn them out, there's a setup that you could do that pretty much does the same thing for you. It's this here. And that is unjumpable, unthrowable. You still get the drink off and you still get the jump in full combo punish afterwards. So after level three, if you manage to burn them out, you could still get a really good situation afterwards to set up a stun, or you could just um, use another drive impact in the combo to put them in burnout and then lead to the same situation that we just spoke about. Jamie is really one of the strongest characters in the corner once you put your opponent there. You just have to be able to know how you can abuse it or how you can, you know, use his strengths in the corner. He's truly like, I don't think other many other characters have anything like this. Just for the simple fact that he can combo after his level 3. Now the situation after other characters get their level 3 is a bit different because some other characters um, have better uh, Oki after level 3 or they could just set certain stuff up that you can't really do much about. But in this context with Jamie, like... There's really just no way about it. Like he DP'd once at full meter, and I was able to burn him out. Like there's, n I I haven't seen another character that can do something like this. Truly one of the best things that I've probably seen in the game. But let's have a little fun here. Let's say let's say I got level four right, and I wanna um. And let's say I, I was winning the round pretty hard, and I was able to bait a, a DP, because in neutral I got a couple sweeps for drinks. I got ex palm once or twice. I'm at 
I'm at four drinks, right? And I'm gonna set on the wake up DP. So like, this is where the fun of it comes from, right? So right here, um, J Jamie has, like how I spoke about before, I could attack their drive gauge or I could attack their health bar. This is probably what you wanna do if you're trying to go for like an actual kill. It'll probably be something like this. Actually, I I'll actually make him have more health cause I could probably kill him at like 70. How much does sweep do? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it like 75. This probably will kill at like 75. Right. It's a bit a little bit of a hard combo to do, but so I'm gonna save the state just in case. So save state. Right. Yeah, I he could have had more health actually. So I am I'm actually gonna up his health so I could actually show the combo. Here I'll I'll just put it at hundred because I don't even know when this will kill. But <laughs> so hit sweep, right? Got that. He's probably gonna end off with like one HP or something. So if this is gonna burn out, like you can do the setup like I had before, but if you wanna cash out for damage, this is gonna be pretty much your route. You could do that. If you wanna, you know, I don't wanna fully burn myself out because I don't know if it's gonna kill, so I kept some meter. But let's say I wanted to fully burn out, you could do that too. Uh, I, dro I dropped it at the end, but that's a little route you have. Let me, let me see if I can actually nail it here. There we go. That's like full max damage punish. You get like 6k, almost 7k off of this. It just, you, so like I said before, you can go for truly just raw damage. You can go for your attack in their drive gauge. You can do whatever it is that you need to do to get yourself into this situation. Now, you don't really need to get to level four to completely pull this off because, um, Jamie is one of the characters that can just kind of like get in in neutral for free. And this is kind of like me trying to help you guys set this up or uh, put you guys in a better situation to do this. So Jamie, let's say I'm at like level zero, right? We're, we're in neutral. We're at the start of round two, right? Because round two is the only time you'll able to be like, you'll able to have um, a level two bar. But let's say I got two drinks, right? I got like a sweep or something or I got like ES Palm. I got two drinks and I'm like, okay, how am I going to bring him to the corner? How can I get in? EX breakdance, now I'm in their face, command grab, breakdance again, save jump, they're in the corner. This is really where like this situation would come into play for Jamie. So where you could do like um, the optimal punish or whatever into your max damage. But keep in mind, you're not going to have level three here. So you have to uh, route the combo a little differently. But yeah, this is how pretty much the the game plan is going to be in like a, a real game situation. So this is something to take note of. One last thing I want to talk about before uh, I end off is that drive impact, whether it's on block or on hit, does grant you a drink in the corner. One of these will give you stand heavy punch into sweep. Yeah, it's, it's crouching light punch. I think it's crouching light punch on block, but standing medium punch on hit. Let me see. Let's see if standing medium punch even works. Yeah, light punch seems to be more consistent, but I think on hit medium punch works. Yeah, medium punch on hit, light punch on block. So if the drive impact hits, you go for medium punch. And if it doesn't, you go for uh, light punch. It can be a little bit uh, tricky, but once once you're able to, you know, hit confirm and visually see, it's much easier to go for. But also, if you don't even want to do any of that, you can just go straight into sweep. It doesn't matter if it hits or, or or not. If you just don't really want to think about it. But that's pretty much what I got for you guys as far as you know, the master guide or tips and tricks video, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm probably just name it like Master Jamie Guide or something, but. Um, this character is definitely going to keep developing and just for like the raw, the few things that I found here, like I feel like this character is very, very strong in the corner and uh, things I spoke about before being like the throw loops and the auto, auto side switch, uh, 2kk anti-air, like it, it just everything combined is really going to make him a problem in the corner. But I feel like people are going to still find things about this character more and more each day and may, maybe even down the line, maybe people will think Jamie's S tier, but right now we don't know. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.